Hi guys, it's Miss Donna again. Can you believe it's Sunday again? It's been a week since we talked last and I wanted to check in with you and have a little chat. I hope you had a good week, uh, probably a lot like my week, just staying at home with family. And that's because we know that there's some people out there that are sick and we don't want everybody else to get sick too. And so we're staying home and staying away from, from those people to protect ourselves and to protect them as well. It's hard, I know it's hard. It's hard for me, I can imagine it's, it's hard for you guys too, trying to find things to do and actually wondering why. Have you asked the question why? Because I've been asking that a lot, why? And what am I supposed to do? Well, you know, when we have difficulties, you know where we go to get the answers, right? We go to the Bible. Now, I had a friend many years ago that gave me a scripture, and it became my favorite scripture. And you may have heard of it before. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. And I found this sign that I thought was really cool because it says what that scripture is. You see there? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you. And it continues on, not to harm you. So we know that God is with us all the time and he's got only our best interest at heart. And so we just have to trust that. We have to trust that and know that, yeah, it's a little hard this week, next week, maybe the week after that, it's gonna be a little hard, but he knows what's good for us and he's gonna take care of us. And we just need to say, okay, Lord, you got my back. You know how you have your friends back when you're, when you're playing with your buddies and they go, I don't know, should I do this, should I not? I got your back. Well, God's got our back too. And so we just have to decide, okay? I know, I believe, I have faith, and I have to make a choice. Now, this same friend that shared with me Jeremiah 29, 11, shared with me another thought when I was going through another difficult time. We all do. I was going through a difficult time and she said to me, you know what? That's a choice. Choose to be miserable or choose to be happy. You make the choice and the choice is to be happy found another sign. How about that? You know, it's not a coincidence. It's, it's divine intervention that we find these things. Well, I found another sign and I want to show that to you. And it is a very good example of what we need to do. Here it is. Choose happy. It's a choice. It's a choice that we need to make and we can make it every single day. Is it going to make the tough times go away? Nope. Will it make it better to get through those tough times? Yes. So you know what I say? Hallelujah anyway. Choose happy. See if you can do that this week, in the coming week, when you're having a tough time and, uh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, I want to go back to school. But right now, we can't do that. So we just need to choose to be happy in the position that we are right now. It's not going to be easy, but I'd like you to give it a try this week, okay? All right. Well, thanks for meeting me here on Facebook yet again, and maybe we'll meet again next week. And remember, God loves you, and so do I.